Uh, Yaruf Same is asking, do you think that Sisi is complacent with Al-Azhar or is he in opposition to them since in certain moments he speaks of acceptance of other religions and atheists? Um, he doesn't, I, my guess would be that he doesn't like the power Al-Azhar uh, has. Uh, he would like to, he sometimes tries to test the waters by seeing how much power he has against them. Uh, but it, back, it like it's too much. Al Azhar University's uh, influence goes beyond the borders of Egypt. Is the force to re be reckoned with, and that's why they don't like it. Like uh, like just like every other dictator, they don't like competing sources of influence. Like, uh, dictators don't like competing sources of influence within their country. But they don't. But he cannot make it even. He can't make it obvious uh, that they, he sees them as a threat. Um, is you know this is the same thing as like you know if you ha if you're gonna have religious sources of influence if they do not fully comply like become a version of the dictator's propaganda then they are a threat okay this is why you see Putin wanting to make sure that I don't know religion is basically uh, abiding by his standards within Russia and you see that more effectively in China where you have to have the Catholic Church, the Vatican has to bend the knee to China for them to be able to operate there. Islam has to be the uh, CCP's version of Islam for it to be oper operating there. Like nobody does this more. The, it's, it's either, so the, the tactics of dictators when it comes to religious sources of influence is either that you brand everything under, the, under my branding and you also make it my, a, a version of my propaganda or you're eliminated, okay, if I can't, right? So like you can see in some countries, they go full on elimination route, like even like in Iran or in North Korea, um, or like and have a very small presence of people who are completely submitting to the government. Um, or you go full on, like, or if it's too big and you cannot completely eliminate it, then you have to accept full on submission. Or if it's too powerful enough for you not to be able to deal with it, and you just basically you're dancing a dance, and you're you're playing a dance with each other. So you have CC and Al Azhar. Both of them are too big to fail. They're both too big to fail, but they also don't want to test each other. So openly, they're kind of like poke at each other sometimes just to see how big of a reaction, how far they can get. And every time they do poke their red flags go up so high that they realize that there's not that much room to play to play this chess game with each other so they pull back immediately but they all both of them are intimidated by each other right but and both of them do not want to start start something not knowing where it's going to end like that the confusion and the lack of clarity of who's going to be left standing if you go into a war with each other makes both of you not want to initiate something, but also sometimes maybe test it because you do, you're still in, are intimidated. You do see the other side as a threat, but you respect it. You act like you respect it. You act like you are in compliance with each other. You act like you're complete. But again, you know that if anything could take you out is the other side. So you are scared of each other. It's very interesting to watch what you could, from behind the scene, if anything ever leaks out, it's always very interesting to see how the dance is being um, how, uh, is being played out um, from the very little information that we get. Yeah. Um, if you guys are interested in a deeper discussion of this, I highly recommend this secular jihadist episode called 10 Years Since the Arab Spring, um, where Armin and Ali Rizvi go into depth talking about uh, CC and military and the competition with Al Azhar, the, the religious influence. I learned so much in this episode, so I highly suggest you go check out this episode. This is the title, and if you're in the live chat, that's the link. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Ababi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.